I should have had that up I said that. It was funny because uh, my friends were saying how, oh, my friends sent me this thing how Obama regrets that they never gave Dolly Parton the Medal of Honor or the Medal of Freedom and that they should have received the medal. She should have received it. It's like, can they take Rush Limbaugh's away from him and give it to her? That'd be great. But then my friend was like, ew, don't give her anything Trash. that Rush Limbaugh mm. touched. I'm like, you're right. Ain't Just nobody take got it, melt it down. She get a contact. Ain't nobody yeah. got lined for that. Mm. Buried acorn. Gross. Buried acorn, Gross. guys. Gross. 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 Yeah, we really messed up these flavor yep. mixes. Yep, yep, yep. I did not. I, I don't realize even that what beer I picked this up. How dare you? <laughs> You'll be fine. Okay, no, I'll get it. Tut, 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 tut. I tut at you. Tut. Tut, tut, tut. Tut. So, how are you guys doing? What's up? How's life? Life's How's good. How's love? How's laughter? Love's <laughs> really good. Aww. How's eating and praying? Um, We do a lot of eating. And we do a lot of praying if, like, my bedroom was the church. Like, like take me to church. Yeah, but it's yeah. so <laughs> So, that's the praying. Yeah, I'm yeah. in the bedroom. Is that Sam Smith or is it? No, it's uh, Hosier. Hosier. Great He's song. Irish. Hosier. Great song, by the way. Great song. It's so Irish. That was bullshit. Actually, I like a lot of his music, so. He's, he's Sam good. Smith has a high voice. Hello, I'm Sam Smith. I'm Sam Smith. That's actually what you're talking to. Smith. 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 Sam Smith. Oh, yeah, what's Sammy Swipe? Um, <laughs> I'm um, doing good, too. Yeah, yeah I was going to say. We didn't get there yet. Hey, we got we got lots of time, baby. No, we don't. I got to wake up soon. All right, hey. <laughs> How you doing? Good. You're going? You're going? You're going? Okay. Because it's like 3 a.m., you know? It's 5 a.m. It's 3 a.m. I must get up for work. Yeah. Um, I already got it super late. I said children. Children, ooh, and they're like they're like making like more and more mess as they clean up, and I'm just like, yep. They have to say, I'm not having my water, and I'm like, oh, it's in oh, um, your water, which is not water, it's actually cranberry juice. And don't worry, they'll get older and they'll do the same things. Yeah. <laughs> no, like that's not true. Kind of was spitting in her. Hand. It takes a long time, but then they figure stuff out. Sometimes you gotta kick them in the butt, though. Yeah, like a lot. I mean, and we as adults, we're all still trying to figure stuff out. So you know, I still spill stuff on the floor every now and then. Yeah, and then leave it and then walk away. I don't do that. And then have my brother tattle on me. <laughs> Nick, though, was not me. Nick. Like, um, you spill stuff uh, like, on the floor. Yeah, you like spill the thing on the floor. No. Are you confused? Mm. Uh, Xbox Series X, guys. Matt plays PS2 games. Are you ready for this? What? 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 Why? Bombs are dropped. Bombs are the bag, PS4 can't even play PS2. Unofficially, Xbox plays more PS2 games than the PS5 does. And PS4. Because, uh, so, so here's the reason why. So it also can play some Wii games, some Dreamcast games, and some GameCube games. Because uh, Xbox burn? Series X supports emulators. Mm. And it supports a particular emulator called RetroArc. Uh, the retro, uh, the retro arc emulator, a a YouTuber uh, who set this up and mod. They say it was like a mod. Um, he played God of War, Metal Gear Solid Two, Silent Hill Two, and, and more things. Wow. So I guess game's over, right? Like, I guess we're done. Thanks, guys. Well, I mean, PS4 five have stuff blowing up too and like smoking out. That's fine. So far, so good. Um. Okay. I'm glad it's emulator support. That's cool. Um, I hope PS5 can catch up with making stuff work for them. But also, at least right now, um, a lot of people, a lot of retailers are catching up on uh, picking up these scalpers that are scalping uh, PS5s, Xbox X. Um, eBay has already um, put down some harsh rules on people that are selling like more than a few PS5s, like, listing more than, like, a certain amount. Basically, they're taking all their listings off and, and uh, banning them. And also, there's a um, UK retailer called Barry, which I guess is, like a, kind of like a Best Buy games, excuse me, uh, GameStop. It's, like it's, called, it's called Quite. 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 Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's barely. It's, it's just Barry. But um, <laughs> they canceled a thousand pre-orders of people that they, uh, they knew were scalpers. Yeah. Thousand. So... 
Hopefully we can get some of those pre-orders back, maybe? Uh, yeah. Probably Britain's getting those. Maybe. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, it'd be nice to be able to pre-order. The people! Nice. The people who just want them to play on! Um, yeah, I mean, it's not those people that can't get like, a PS5. They basically sent them a letter like, you're right, get, or something like that. And then now they can't get that PS5. Yeah, back in Egypt. Their fifth PS5. Why don't you bugger off? Mm. Bollocks. Yeah, I mean, it does suck when if you can't get one, you just like no one will give you one. You can't like find. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't own a millionaire. So. I don't. I don't. I don't. I mean, I don't know how it feels. How that feels, but it does suck. I just remember I'm like your brother, brother, brother-in-law. Um, mm-hmm. brother is three times removed. Brother, brother like brother-in-law. Like, like I'm the Coco Beware to your Hulk Hogan. Yeah, the Coco Beware just Undertaker, so he's gonna actually tombstone pile drive you into your <laughs> and break your neck. <sighs> Words hurt. I still can't watch that. I, I saw, maybe that match was he playing. I was like, no, don't do it. Did you watch um Cuckoo, the Birdman? Don't kill him. Did you watch Raw this week? No, I haven't watched Raw or SmackDown in several weeks because I'm a little pissed at WWE. Well, I'm not. I don't disagree with you on probably many things. By the way, they didn't play either of the Retribution matches. Oh, of course not. Um, so how do we know that Slapjack won? Can't tell. Because Slapjack beat Pretty Ricky. I came out this morning, literally. I, I quit wrestling. He's, he was I sitting on the couch, and he's like Fine. this. And I'm just like, I said something to him. So I'm like, you I'm okay? sorry, did you, I piss you, you off? Are you okay? No, you just said, are you okay? No. And I was like, no. <laughs> no, and then I and looked good, good, at the good computer. Good for Sharon Thorne, by the way, but also. But also, I looked at the computer, and I was like. And Lana. How about just Lana? But just I also like what? that Mia Yim, like, they, like, improvise a thing, what? like, where you're messed for because you're a suck, and, like, I'm like, yeah. no. What? No. Like, you gave her the shittiest mask ever, yeah. and also she's a fucking phenomenal wrestler. Yeah. Also, it fell off immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, like, Rammer's got mine. <laughs> Great. I just, I feel bad for Misawa Lee, because, like, you gotta tell her she sucks now, and it's like, what? I'm like, okay, that's not... So I'm a really nice guy. Like, yeah, you're, just, you're the guy now. I think it was, we were watching Ups and Downs cop. today, and he said, like, a team fueled by Party City. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's so good. That was actually yeah, the new hackers. Oh, well, there you go, the hacker. Hockey. Yes, no, the one you sent to us. It was really good. I actually watched it like about ten minutes before you sent it out. <laughs> well, like, but he watched it again with me, and it was really good. I wrote it, yeah. Yeah. I watched Much it. Much better than what anything else. I, I do a react so. video where we just watched it and they showed our faces. Oh. And we're like, oh, mm-hmm. right, that'll be after we did the Manifest Destiny podcast. Okay. Jesus. We're starting that in January, right? We already agreed to this. I mean, I've already prepped myself by watching all both seasons. Did you actually watch all both seasons? Yes. I didn't watch that. I only watched, because Ethan and I were watching it, but I only got to about Guess what, the middle second season. It gets much worse. Oh, it doesn't get any better. <laughs> I You're assume in for a long it, 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 you'll search your soul. <laughs> and you're like, oh no. I was at that point pretty much, and maybe we just kind of like, at that point, just like, I'm like, yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, it's actually a social experiment to, like, compare uh, withdrawal symptoms from heroin. Or just, like, just, <laughs> so I'm so cold. I'm so cold. <laughs> but, like, we have to keep finding them, right? Or something. <laughs> but if we find them. What did you see in your memory? Yeah. Oh, I saw a plane explode. Yeah, we were on that plane. They were, they were They're trying so hard to be lost, like the fifth episode. and they are not even close to being lost. Like, no, and that's not like even all like. Seven lost. There's so many shows like that where just like a group of people show up, and it's like, what happened to these people? And they're all better than this show. Yeah, like the forty four hundred better. Yes, yes. I want no. I watched that Every show. Every single one is better than this yeah. show. <laughs> But you have to have one that's going to be the worst, and that's why we're, we're, that's that's what we're doing. doing. January, we are staying, we're staying right we're now. We're doing it. T- January 2021. I like, I like getting you guys psyched up for this. <laughs> this. You're like even more psyched for this than you are for the Mass Effect thing. And I like that too. We've been torturing ourselves with shitty movies, so why not torture ourselves with a shitty show? And yeah, like I said, it doesn't get better. It gets much worse. Like. So wait, is it going to be a podcast or a vlog? I mean, probably a vlog, right? Well, so it's a podcast. I mean, well, I mean, if we do it as a podcast, we're already posting it. On Stitcher? Is that okay? You got a hook up there? You yeah. Up Stitcher? What's the music one is, that you Stitcher? do? Stitcher is on there. The SoundCloud? Yeah, you can post them into SoundCloud. Sure can. Sure. And then you can post it to you Facebook could. right after that. 
Or we could just do another vlog and we could post it to we YouTube. Could like, no, we could just do like a YouTube live stream. <laughs> I'm going to get us a nice yeah. mic. Yeah. A nice mic for Christmas. That would be my, my uh, vlog gift to us. And then we'll, we'll do a, vlog, a little podcast. My vlog gift will be a plaster cast in my mind. They already know what our faces look like, okay? All 52 subscribers know what this face looks like. Because hey. it's that face, too. Hey, Matt, there was a new face? subscriber recently. Did you hear about this? What? Mateo Tarot subscribed to the <laughs> I did not. That's what it says. Aiden. Aiden, Aiden's been watching our vlogs. He watched, uh, I actually, somebody at work watched our One Chip Challenge, and he was so excited that he, uh, I, get, I guess I'd say he's a friend of the vlog, um, Detective Mike Toya. Wow. He, uh, he uh, he keeps he always asks me about what be, what new beers we have, uh, but he's like he texts me he's like um can you send me that again because my daughter wants to watch it and I'm like okay and he's like she's dying over here like I was like okay all right man cool what right. are you doing another another one chip challenge I think right. well, we have to get the, right. dude you, if at Walmart the one chip is twenty dollars each so I'm not no <laughs> uh, if I can get it from Pocky again because it's like five or seven dollars something like that well maybe. they're up to like fifteen bucks. I'm not paying twenty dollars for fucking one chip challenge, so it's like, it's like they better come in a pack of five. I'm popular, man. It's all over the social medias. You jerks. You're literally paying them money to kill yourself on the inside. Yeah, and we did. <laughs> and we did. Not that still the hottest thing we've ever had, but it was uh, good. What were we on? Who were we on? F bomb wings. By, by far, hands down, hands down. Those things like still haunt me to this day. And a good what bit. wings? And a good bit. Uh, the F bomb wings at Shifty's. Mm. They were so delicious and so hot. And I was, I heard, I heard, I heard the next day. Like, like if, like if I could, if, if it would have been illustrated, it would have just been fire coming out of my ass, like all day. And I was at work too, so I'm just like, <laughs> guys, we've recommended this at the top of the blog, Monolith Watch 2020. Okay. The monolith. So, the Utah Monolith showed up last, uh, two weeks ago on a Wednesday. We right? talked about it. We talked about it last week. Then it mysteriously disappeared late last week. In its place. But. A pyramid. All of a sudden in not Bulgaria. Romania. 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 They're close, but not the same. Another one showed up on a hill. Another like mountainous area. And we got like a video of this one this time. He was kind of like knocking on it. It sounded hollow inside. It was just like, what rich person is doing this like crazy shit, stuff, like, right? Look like shit up close. I'm like, this is not yeah. an alien. Aliens no. gonna make this shit and leave it there. Fuck you. But it got dropped in Pietra Niamit. Niamit, which is a, a city in uh, Romania. It has an ancient, very ancient fortress, I guess. Like one of their like historical landmarks. And it's like, and it also was facing their holy mountain there as well. Um, but, um, supposedly, as of the filming of this, it, that monument has also disappeared. So, where what? does it, where does it go next? What? Okay. Madagascar. That's what it is. Madagascar, tomorrow. We'll be there. The Rakat structure is the next place, but what, what if this is just an all, an elaborate marketing scheme? Right. It's got Rebecca be. Black's new album, Saturday. Um, I think this is a marketing scheme for the new season of Doctor Who because this is Doc. This is Doctor Who written all over it. Like monoliths, there's lots of monoliths in there. Uh, there's one episode in there's season episode. eleven where they there's like a thousand. Episodes. There's like a there's billion, billion of these black cubes that are like this big, drop in the ground, just all yeah. over the, in every major city around the world. And besides, Portland. so people keep picking them up and just pick it. They don't know what they do. They're really shiny and smooth and black, and they just take them home and they put them on their shelves. And they leave them there, like, nine months later, when they've forgotten about the cube, they all activate and, like, attack them, basically. So it's basically an Amazon Echo. Yeah. But but we don't have one of those. None in here. We're nope. safe. I don't do that shit. Yeah. Fuck you, Doctor Who. You don't have to patronize me. I'm being serious. I'm not. I didn't know if you are being serious or not, so I was a little scared. I'm being serious, but it doesn't matter not. because your phones listen to you. Because I literally... Was looking up Lana and talking about her to Mateo, and then just, just and like a normal person. Does. We were on YouTube, and like one of the next videos, I was like, "I bet Lana's gonna be in this video," which she actually wasn't. So maybe, but they listen. I know they listen. Okay. I keep in e-bike stuff because my bike has been screwy lately, yeah. so I've been talking about it, and I like look on the thing of e-bike. Yeah. And yeah. By the way, your story did not prove that case. <laughs> I know. Isn't that I don't just subscribe to it any happen, stuff. Though. Lana, Lana, Lana. It happens. Listen, I talk about Lana. We saw Lana. And then 
It was an ad for the Smurfs movie. And I bought a Lana outfit for some reason. Ew. I like the horns. That's it. I like the horns, and then it comes into the song, and I hate it. I'll be your handsome mirror, okay? I mean, he kind of is a Rusev type. Like, look at that body. Furry, large. Yeah. Um I understand. It's a mirror. The best man. Listen, I had to look Lana up because oh god, it, it's painful. She went deep dive into the CJ Perry. I did. Catherine Joy Perry. I mean, good for you. Right? Like, hey, so um I'm gonna be totally serious for a moment here and mm. say congratulations to Elliot Page. Did you hear mm. that Elliot Page came out? So as, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. Doesn't matter. Um, as trans transgender, using pronouns he, him, they, they he, and them. He and they. Yes. Just he and they. Sure. That's what I said. There's no them. No. I mean, I guess if it's in the past, you still call oh. them they. So. Oh. Um, but yeah, and so do you think that Elliot Page is gonna just look like Justin Bieber eventually? I mean, she's Please. had no when it weighs a she yeah. had a like it, her face had become like very. It almost seemed like she was moving in the le- in the fight in the last season of Umbrella Academy. It was oh, almost sure. like she was moving away from from being very feminine. Sure, and I've seen that and over the past just, few years. And the, well, the fact that that like. He had to be feminine back then was because it was the Hollywood standard, you know. It wasn't right. like he. Well, and I think that's that. why, if anyone's surprised at why it's happening now, I think that there was a lot of pressure to stay what he was at the time because that's what people were used to, and that's how he was getting booked. But that's awesome, and it opens up Umbrella Academy for like so much more stuff too. Like that was the first thing we thought of. So. I have it, um, his Sparrow counterpart is, like, totally, like, a macho dude or something. Yeah, macho, oh. super macho it's dude. Like, the, the one that got the grill body, maybe? Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> it's actually... They're talking. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. But with, do like, it. his very, like, angular, like, like, fine-featured face. Fine face. He's a Fine-featured face. So, but, yeah, props. Well, props good, to you. Good for you, Elliot. Welcome. That's... Very brave. Welcome to the world. Um, I have some sad news. I'm going to write the sad news, guys. Okay. Because we had another very sad Star Wars death. Mm. I mean, and, and he's, he was older, 85 years old. Yeah. David Prowse, the man who physically portrayed Darth Vader. Not vocally, because his voice was, was trash. Take a look at me with... Yeah. No, my was, own eye. That was not David Prowse. No, right? was it? No, it wasn't David uh-huh. Prowse. No. <laughs> David Prowse was a monster like he looked very not handsome uh but he was a mr universe at one point um and that's well, why he was handsome some of them. That's, yeah. why he got, that's why he was cast oh he's, he's strong he wasn't handsome in mr. Universe. um he was uh you know he's, that's why he was actually one of the reasons he was cast uh you know because he was six seven six foot seven very physically imposing um yeah i can't remember that actress name that was in that part but it wasn't it wasn't in the movie. but yeah yeah he uh, just passed just away what a twink Hayden Christensen is. I'm gonna be six foot seven someday. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. Man. Well, I got because the whole point of hey, the, they're, is, they're putting the robot legs on. It's like make him really long. Yeah. I want him much longer than this. My regular legs. I'll show Obi Wan. The whole point of Darth Vader is like he was a robot that was put together on like a torso, basically. Mm-hmm. It's like basically like a Frankenstein, yeah. you know, kind of thing almost. Um, Do you think he was made from like Zabrak parts or something, maybe, or like? He's do you dick. think that he, he like? Not be dick. Do you think that? Yeah, I was gonna say he like definitely enhanced everything. Yeah. He, I don't think I don't. Well, well, basically, so, so David Prowse right. like uh, when the, well, at least what he claims is George Lucas came up and he's like, I have two parts for you. One is is a big hairy teddy bear guy named Chewbacca, and the other one is the main villain. And he's like, well, yeah, I want to be the villain, of course. I want a storied actor at this point. Teddy bear you said? For Mr. Universe. Laser sword? Yeah. And, uh, but then, then they put him in a, like a 80 pound death suit in the middle of the desert and he's like, oh wait, <laughs> I've made somehow a mistake. <laughs> well, he could have been in a teddy bear suit in the middle of the desert. Yeah. Neither one sounds pretty bad. Yeah. So the, the moral of the story is George Lucas hates tall people? Yeah. <laughs> well, also yes. short people because he had, uh, a little guy in a tin can. So, uh, he just hates people that are... Yeah, also, 
skinny guy, Anthony Daniels, and also in Tin Can. Yeah. Uh, he just hates people. Yeah. Um, that's what you do when you make a movie. That's movie magic, you okay. guys. I'm going to try to lay this mood up. Okay, yeah. As of November 29th, Marvel owns Daredevil again, like, come on, come on, come on, come on, Daredevil! Um, so hopefully we get Ben Affleck back in this role. Uh, ben Affleck, yeah. We can insert him back into the Marvel Universe, which he should be there. Rightful, his rightful place. You think, so you think it'd be like old man Daredevil? Where's a blind and little lady? Oh like, man, take like, a look at my eyes. like, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, 24 and there's so much more. Um, everybody's obviously, all the, a lot of celebrities and even just humans that like things that are good are rallying for Charlie Cox to become this role again because he is this role. Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio is one of the people that came out and hopefully he's King Finn throw him in there too. Uh, Clark Gregg also uh, has said something about this before and said it, uh, posted something um, on November 30th saying he re basically reposted his tweet and was like, yep, this again. And um, Also, didn't you say Rosario Dawson, I believe, also was mm -hmm. like, put Charlie Cox Let's back in his thing? Let's the do former this. night nurse, you mean? Former night nurse. Jamie actually mentioned her when we were watching uh, The Mandalorian. I think I was a nurse. Yeah, she's like, she, no, I wish she would have done more with her character in, in, in Daredevil. Yeah. I was like, yeah, they did it with no one's character, though. Yeah. Except for Charlie Cox. Maybe, perhaps. Okay, back, we, then we, but then we talked about Dave Wolf a little bit last night. But uh, I'm excited that I'm hoping they can do something with this character. They could bring him back in Spider Man, they could put him in a lot of places. Um, but I guess we'll see. What you doing? know what? I'm down. He was a great Daredevil. Um, he was great, a great actor in general. Like I just like seeing him portray anything on, on, on the, and that's you know with Daredevil and Matt, and Matt Murdock. He did a lot of cool things to make good. that character come to life. Yeah, uh, it was impressive. I just agree. like Vincent D'Onofrio's uh, Kingpin was fucking fantastic. Was masterful. Yeah, I mean he's in my opinion probably the best Marvel villain so far. Yeah, I, 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 I name I, a better one. I, I don't want to disagree with you on that to be honest. So. So. I like I, too. I break it with the kingpin to break like my, Daredevil. Uh, sugar and water. That's what will come back as come back as Edgar. Yeah, and Anger Suit. I, I gotta fight this guy. I'm blind, not dumb. Like, <laughs> but then maybe we'll get Chewbacca back again. So I mean, there you go. Syracuse's own. Syracuse's own. Yeah. Right there. Um, guys, I, I don't know why I have so much sadness. This is kind of sad, but this is, um, so, uh, the, a, a set piece from the movie Goldeneye fell to the ground in Puerto Rico. Goldeneye! The Arecibo Telescope. The Arecibo <laughs> Observatory Radio Telescope. Yeah, well, an iconic, uh, like, it's known for it being a fall giant. Though, yeah, did it? I think no, it just fell decommissioned it. No, collapsed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so basically what happened is they were like, we're going to decommission it because there was, it basically, this part that, like, uh, it's right over the dish, um, was like about to fall, and like, it could fall in like a week, and then it just fell. <laughs> okay. It could be any time, could so, be a week, a month. It's so this like really fun. ruins my Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5? I mean, actually, it'd probably be even more dope now, like, I mean, except it'd be like, you'd be falling over at five feet. As long as I play Superman along. Yeah, no, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Yeah, so obviously this is based in Puerto Rico, and it's huge. It's yeah. humongous. It's humong yeah. basically humongous. It's uh, the biggest dish dish. tell shelf that there is. It, yeah, I mean, it's the only one out there now. Uh, it was the only one out there, now it's, now it's gone. Uh, but um, it's, you know, it discovered so many things before even Hubble was around. Um, you know, and it's, uh, it, was still in, it was still in use until very recently. Um, I think it was destabilized a lot from the hurricanes and the earthquakes mm -hmm. and things. Well, I, I just think that they didn't really have any money to upkeep it lately because of all the stuff that's been going on there too. So, uh, R.I.P. Arecibo. Okay, so not the, not the city itself. Yeah, so so it's like it's like those games where you can like play and there's like the twin towers in the background. This is like one of the, like you play Goldeneye and you can and, and you'll have that level and that's it. That's the only time you'll know the Arecibo Towers. Uh, still get to throw a hat at people though. Yeah. Like, no odd jobs. <laughs> no odd jobs. He's so small. Why don't you pick Jaws? He's so huge. You just he's so easy to shoot. You right. Give him additional health. Hey, you have any news from there? Yeah. Is the pipeline? You guys are talking. Hit it's with fine. It. Hit us with it. What do you got? Um. Hit us with the news. Uh, the Universal Monster movie reboot franchise added someone new. They're doing a Van Helsing uh, reboot, you guys. Hugh Jackman's back. Okay, is this the what? is this is this the Dracula Van Helsing musical from yeah. Sarah Marshall? 
Die! 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 I can't. Uh, do you think Dana Radcliffe has Van Helsing? Yes! Please! Oh, please! Yes, please! Please, please, please. Um, please, please. I mean, um, Dracula. Um, so, Akimbo. we've got uh, director Julius Avery, who I've never seen any of his films, but he did that Overlord Nazi zombie which film. Which we have to watch for Which, Bruce yeah, then I was like, nah, we gotta watch that now. And, um... Uh, some other ones, but producer James Wan, who is like a huge horror producer, Insidious and Saw, Conjuring, and Aquaman. He did yeah. so. He directed Aquaman. So let's do it. Sure, Van Helsing, bring it on. I mean, arguably the best DC movie. Who should be cast as Van Helsing then? You just said Daniel Radcliffe. Um, I mean, I put my hat in the ring. My strange looking hat. Uh, you wear my hat if you want to for it. I'm trying to think of like a young Brit. A young Brit. I'm gonna give you like a, a German guy. Or like, like a, a yeah, a Middle Eastern guy. Oh, a Middle Eastern. Ooh, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Kind of well, spicy take. I'm at middle age, but <laughs> I like I'm good with that too. A spicy take. I like it. Young and oh, oh, dead fair. We'll now be cast. Yeah. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Him or <her. laughs> I am from uh, Germany, I <laughs> yeah. think. Van Helsing. <laughs> well, I mean... Egyptian. There is plenty of, you know, like... My name's Amir Van Helsing. <laughs> imperialism going on back then, oh, man. so... <laughs> <laughs> I like that. My, my father was German, but my yeah. mom was... Yeah, exactly. You brought my mom back, you know. You know. <laughs> You know how it is. That's one of those loves. Or he just brought me back, but left my mom behind because that happened like a lot. Uh, yeah, sure, a German guy. Let's go with that. What Lula about Borg. Yeah. There we go. Cast Lula Borg. Yeah. I'm Van Helsing. Hello. Um, I, I, I mean, you know what? None of this is gonna happen, so I don't even care, yeah. honestly. But what did they say it was Christoph Waltz? He's like, yeah. I am Van Helsing. I feel <laughs> to kill vampires. Okay, I am vampires. Hey, what if it was like a really old Van Helsing and it was Van Helsing? Yeah, and it's Van the Helsing. most yeah, depressed day. Is terrible. Like, the maybe, inhumanity maybe of Maybe this humanity. is going to be like a normal Van Helsing where it's like, like Van Helsing's daughter. And oh. so Werner, Herz Werner Herzog definitely yeah. would be the death. And then Billy Bob Brown as a Noah Van Helsing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm learning a lot from you. So I watched I that today, Life is finally. Pain. Yeah, have you watched that movie? I did. No, I, I watched it today. Um, it wasn't... It, it didn't... It, it didn't leave me yeah. with anything. I was just like, that was a movie. But she did it for that guy. No, yeah. that was the worst she part! That, that was the worst part. I hate... Yeah. I don't like romance to begin with. I, I'm just not... That's not my like thing. I, you know, so this movie, movie, thankfully, didn't have, like, kiss... Oh, right. no, in real life, it's very different. But yeah, in right my entertainment, I don't want that fart garbage. So I want, like, action, or no kissing, horror. Rissy. Yeah, no kissing. Which I don't is why you shit. love Surviving Christmas so much. The movie we watched recently for Brad She Washington. likes... Because there's no romance. She's more of a Homer and Derby type person than, uh, you know, first, second, third, fourth. Oh, oh my. Ding it out of Exactly. Oh, my. I like those things where the two, the people are like, yeah, let's hang out and then we'll go do our own thing. <laughs> it's fine. I'm good with that. I'm fine with that. Or like, you know, or they're like, we're a comfortable married couple. We like to make out and stuff, but it's not like new romance is springing up and everything's perfect and everyone's I think beautiful. I'm in love with you and one's yeah. Eddie Redmayne of course like, and, there's and a the person, other one is also Eddie Redmayne and there's always, always like, love you. there's always a love triangle no, where she's like oh I don't know which one I should choose is it you you beautiful boy who's in love with me like, or this other just, beautiful boy who's in love with me and it's just like both played by Eddie Redmayne that's right I'm the beautiful boy I love you so also, and then there's Wawa Luigi. He's like, yeah. I hate that shit. Hate it. That's why I loved The Expanse. That was like the perfect job. There was like this much romance. And it was just like understood. Like, it wasn't like fucked. flowery and shit. Yes. It was just like, like we're okay. we're in space and we can die at any moment. Exactly. And even when they were more committed, it wasn't like gross. Like, it was like, oh, they're together. Yeah. Cool. This is good. So The Expanse gets gets it a lot yeah, of times. That's it why. does. And they, they get know, it yeah, right. they know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say that's like the main reason. Well, I did start. Um, oh, this won't begin the next season. But. <laughs> I did start Daredevil, and then my ex didn't like it, so we stopped watching it. But you're watching me. 
Yeah. I will watch it with you, but it's like the movie they're doing, right? a WB show, right? Isn't ah, it? not so, that WB. No, 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 no. It's not a WB show. Is it a Netflix show? Netflix show. Okay, all right. It's a good show. All right, I'm, it's good. I'll watch it. Shit, it's I would good. never say a CW show was a like show. Romance. There's you watched show, like Arrow. Romance. Yeah, but I'm not saying that it's a good show. Mm -hmm. there's, tr there's a okay. difference there. Okay. There's a difference. I watched Legends of Tomorrow too. That's a terrible show, but. I haven't watched it in a couple years. But still, I would watch it. It's not a good show. I'm not looking, like, let's hear some good plot points. I'm like, yay, superheroes are kicking butt. That's all I care about. It's like it's like Pacific Rim. It's like robots and monsters. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. plot lines? Can I have a good thread? Where's me, Stack, or Pentecost, or me, Sandwich, Pentecost going with this? You know, like. Yeah. But that's a movie. That's like an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> when will his brother Meaty Clackers Pentecost be in there? Who would play Meaty Clackers Pentecost in that? Who'd you, who'd you cast in that role? It's hmm. a good question. And if you, did, if you don't say Michael B. Jordan, you're wrong. What, does it have to be like just the most famous black guy? Like, I, yeah, I can't oh, pick of like, course. Okay. You can't yeah, Michael B. Jordan, then, I guess. Who else are you picking that? I didn't have enough time to think. I did. Exactly. Meat for Meaty B. Clackers? Who was Meaty um... B. Clackers? <laughs> <laughs> Can we make that the name of the set? Meaty B. Clackers? <laughs> <laughs> really B clackers it is. Is it B E E or B E? <laughs> Whatever you want, however you want to spell it. Cause it's, 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 I like B clackers. It's like a ball, B like a B with B B ball. B, 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 B period clackers. B, B clackers. Yeah. Okay. It's like it's like David F. Pumpkins. You know, yeah. like a David S. Pumpkins. Meaty. B. Anyway, I was gonna if I had say. I my mouth. I would have spit it out. I was gonna say, what's his face? Um, from uh, from the Watchmen TV show. How about from... Titus, Titus Andromeda? No, oh my god. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's a little older. Than... I still want to think of him first. T Titus Andromeda. Then. Like, yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we oh never god. talk about you, bro. <laughs> I can do a Yager too. Yeah, I can do a slide. <laughs> yeah. Watch me slide. <laughs> I'm down for this. Pinot <laughs> Noir. I'm, I'm down I for this. I think we just wrote Pac-Man 3. I think yeah. we just wrote it. That's I mean, all I'm saying. I mean, Charlie Bacon's back. Me, 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 Clackers. He's, I feel like I follow him on Instagram. Kind of awesome. And I feel like if we, like, wrote a clever thing for him to say as Meaty B. Claggers because he loves doing other characters. I feel like he would do that. He does like multiple All other right, we'll characters. Work on it. We'll work on it, okay? Mm -hmm. Give us a couple weeks. <laughs> Meaty B. Claggers. <laughs> like an action star. Meaty B. Claggers, Pentecost. Pentecost. Yeah, yeah he's also yeah. part of the family. Yeah. Part of the family. Um, <laughs> and we'd be like, you have to watch Pacific Rim and, and be interested in this younger brother, please. It's just goes son slash John Wayne. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we gotta get We got. We got. We don't work this out. What, what, if Titus, what if Titus and and uh, and uh, Meaty Sandwich Pentecost slide together? Like they're just sliding together. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like they have to be in sync. Like a double stack. <laughs> be in sync. Like a double stack. Like is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah. yeah. Shit, man. I'm just saying. This is a good. I think. Situation. I think this movie's gonna so be. So wait, is the other one John Boyega? Is that Sandwich Pentecost? Yeah, it's Meaty Sandwich. Yeah. Because he had a name, but it, he didn't need a name. <laughs> His dad's name was Stacker Pentecost. Stacker Pentecost. Stacker. So I like Meaty B and Sandwich. Like, who knows? Also, also, Idris Elba also played a guy named Stringer. Like, and someone gave him that show, he's like, oh yeah, it's still okay. Yeah, it's rough. Yeah, I'll play it rough. Like, he also played a different name. He also he played a character named... McCavity. So that's <laughs> true. That's true. He he just like basically he likes his names to fit into a cockney rhyming line. <laughs> cool. Hey, whatever works for you, man. Hey guys, speaking of cool and British, Peter Dinklage is set to star yeah. in the Toxic Avenger reboot. Yep. See, this is see, the only thing I don't like about this is people have been talking about this Toxic Avenger reboot for decades. Yeah. Yeah. But also, why? Yeah. Do you think he's gonna play Melvin Ferd, the character's name? Yes, I didn't know that's the character's name until he will one hundred percent play that character. Until forty years old Mateo just found that out. Um, so okay, so he's not gonna be the Toxic Crusader cartoon. Matt, you know how better. You know how I knew that that was the character's name because I used to have the action figure. Is that Melvin Toxic Ferd? Crusader? Did it say it on there? No, no, no. Are you talking about Toxic Crusader or the Toxic Avenger? No, Toxic Crusader is in this Toxic Avenger the same dude. Why? 
They're the same dude. Why? They're just different names for the movie. Doesn't make any sense. They have different names. It for doesn't the make movies. any sense. Yeah, it's, it's on the back of the package. The They're gross, but they still get gross. Well, it does make sense. <laughs> is he crusading <laughs> for something, or is he lines. avenging for something? Well, I don't know. We don't nobody, know. Nobody, nobody cared. It was about seeing tits. And well, I, actually, they had a lot of like points like, hey, maybe we should clean up the environment type thing. But if you don't and you jump into a puddle of toxic waste, you'll be really strong. We'll get really hot girls to be all over you for some reason. Yeah. And they'll be super strong. So you have that going for you. And you have a mop for a weapon. You guys think of how many formative things in our childhood was where someone fell into something and then they gained Ninja like Turtles? powers. Um, yeah. That's Ninja Ninja Turtles, Turtles, the Joker. Joker. Yeah. Toxic Avenger. Uh, uh guys, the Joker doesn't gain powers. The secret life of Alex He's Mack. Like Daredevil did though. They don't have that shit. Like bad around. shit happens to you. You get bit by a radioactive spider, and you like. <laughs> yeah, you you you're in, in the center of a nuclear bomb explosion, and you become the Hulk. Yeah, I got bit by a spider. It's got skin necrosis. Yeah. I mean, come yeah. on, like lame. Yeah. Nothing. Like no powers. Like, like Alex Mack is that she literally gets like covered in radioactive stuff and then gains powers. Not that she like. Fucking Chernobyl just like died from the inside oh, and like Why in a hospital. That be it? Like you got a dark Alex Max reboot, like where she's like <laughs> she just gets she radiation. Gets, like, she gets like radiation <laughs> poisoning. It could be like a dark Spider-Man reboot where he kills um, Mary Jane with his cum. Yeah. That's actually a thing in the comics. Yeah. He, uh, he she gets cancer from him ejaculating into her too much. Nice. I just thought she'd get yeah. gummed up and I like that. See, they get more serious with, the, <laughs> with those two. They're like, this is what would like, actually, <laughs> <That's my laughs> actually happen. So. Someone decided they'd write this. Well, well I that mean, sounds like Superman. That's also, and Lane, well, that's, I mean. Yeah, that's like all like fucking Disney movies, too. Like Everyone loves Disney, but Pocahontas is a terrible she movie. She is taken to England by a different guy, not, yeah, not no, him. Yeah, no, role for small. Then is raped and She's, yeah. Yeah. No, and she wasn't even oh, yet. God. She was 12. She first met him. She was like a little naked girl running around in the woods. There was yes. no love there. That one. Yeah. But then didn't even get with that guy. No. Another guy took her, John Rolfe. Yeah. To England, where, where she, she died. was prayed died around, and raped, and yeah. then died she of died smallpox. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's Terrible. the end of that. That's, no, that's how why about, I don't see Pokemon as How about The Hunchback <laughs> of Notre Dame, which is a terrible, is horrible a form. Yeah, our, kid, our kids are watching, the, kid, the kids of the podcast are watching this, if you call them the kids of the podcast, yeah. uh, and they're just crying now. Or our kids in the future. You just made Aiden cry. He's crying now, is it? Mm. Has he even seen either of those movies? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Connor has read the book, the Pokemon book. Guys, I only have one, like, this book I only have one yeah. thing left, and it's not that great. So what do we got left here? Mine isn't that great either. Okay, what do but you Mike's got a so, well, he's got a, a, a I, clacker buster. Asshole. You have I'm a clacker buster? Meaty clacker. I got I got a Wonder Woman nineteen eighty four. I have that too. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. That's not great. Uh, so that will be released first on HBO Max. Uh, well, it's simultaneously on HBO Max. But it's gonna be four K. So that's so here's here's the thing though. Uh, HBO Max doesn't yet support 4K. Yep. So it also doesn't support Roku. It doesn't. Roku has not supported it yet. So you can only watch on the Fire Stick right now, or if you have Hulu with the add-on. Um, but yeah, so right now everything on on HBO Max is 1080p. By the way, <laughs> that's like. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh. But. but that was like five years ago. They haven't like got their shit like together. Okay, my TV can then play it just fine. Right. You got a new house. It's time for a TV upgrade too. Um, yes, fine. Well, okay. in the news of all this, TV like upgrade. HBO Max maybe ever actually like really happening and having all the things it is and hopefully getting all the people it gets. Uh, okay. Quibi is dead. Like they're gone. Yeah, like they're, they're officially. What I mean, done. they had such a great, uh, great marketing like, scheme. I like to watch my phone sometimes like this when I watch shows. So like this. I like yeah, like and I only want to watch shows five on my phone minutes, for, for five ten minutes. minutes. Ten minutes. And that way we don't have to pay the cast and crew right. any kind of scale. We can right. pay them a lesser scale. Yeah. Okay, what's your point? Yeah. They needed, like, I, I guess it was something like their startup, the money they used to start up was, like, ridiculous, of course. And uh, they just didn't realize that this wasn't going to work. <laughs> like, no one gives a shit. No one's going to spend the money for that. You know, having Anna Kendrick, Anna Kendrick is, like, not enough. So. Well, actually, your last piece of news is... Fucking a rocket. Okay, so my the, last piece of news is holiday. Like, this is fucking amazing. Okay. Okay. It's amazing. Not good. Mine is good news though. Okay, good. That's good. Finally, 
need to bring this thing up. Xavier Woods' crusade is over. What? He's officially yeah. a host of G4. Yes. He's, he's, uh, they, it was announced Good during thing. the... Austin uh, Creed. The G4 reunion special. Austin Creed, uh, the uh, pro- provider of Up Up Down Down, uh, part of the New Dam. Uh, he Like, four years now, he's been trying... To, like, it was one of his childhood dreams was to be a host on G4, the, the nerd-centric uh, TV show, which is now, like, reiterated as, like, an internet thing. Uh, but they finally, they offered him a role as a, as a host. How long till Vince ruins this for him? Oh. No, this is definitely branded with WWE because they're using Xavier Woods and not Austin Creed. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he's fine. How long till Vince still ruins this for him? I don't know what G, what's G, what's the 4 G? Sort of, and a greatness, uh, steroids, I don't even know. That's good shit. The only G I know is ladies. G spots. That's good shit. Where's Bobby Lashley? Get him in here. Rub my butt. I look just like him. Um, I'm I'm very proud of our boy Xavier Woods. There's a place in Syracuse named after him, so I mean he's got to be a friend of the podcast. I go past there all the time. Yeah, I'm like, there it is. It's It's there. It's It's weird that it's there. (laughs) Like, did he he get the name? I don't know. I want to ask him one day. Um, what, what do we it? have on the blog? There's a place in Outer Compton. It's like a area. development. Yeah, it's like a housing development. Oh, called Xavier, Xavier Woods. Was, yeah. <laughs> There's not one called Austin Creed that I found yet, though. Right. I haven't been to Austin. There's Texas, none called though. Kofi Kingston either, so I looked. There should be. I looked. Kingstown. There is one maybe? called Big E, which well, is weird. Well, yeah. Kingston because he was Jamaican. That's why yeah, it's yeah, last yeah. name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not Jamaican, but <laughs> boom claps. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to be Jamaican because you have dreadlocks. Yeah. Okay, I'm not Jamaican. You're going to be Jamaican. I'm literally from Massachusetts, yeah. like the least Jamaican place <laughs> yeah. ever. You're going to be Jamaican. <laughs> Work on the accent. That's good shit. You're going to use that a lot. Wear the flag. I'm not even... Okay. Fine. I just want to be on TV, man. <laughs> and also the voodoo kick of marijuana. It's a reservation. Let's talk about this Netflix thing, because this was fucking yes. fantastic. Do it. So, yes, do Netflix it. has, over the course of doing its, like, making its own stuff... Uh, slowly started and been picking up more and more on Christmas movies, trying quickly. to rival. This is pretty quickly. Trying to rival um, Lifetime. Lifetime. Yeah. So they've come out with ten Christmas movies that are in their own like universe. Christmas Netflix Christmas universe, Mike. Yeah, that basically, and they yes. all reference each other the in MCU. different ways in different times. And it's the Netflix is Noel Christmas in this? universe. Is Noel included? I only hope this all re- this all revolves the Christmas, Christmas Chronicles. Yeah, yeah. Christmas Chronicles. Of which there there is a second one, right? And yeah. apparently Kurt Douglas, Kurt Douglas, Kurt, Kurt Russell, Russell, like wrote some of the script. Of course, like, it's gonna be great. <laughs> we're gonna have to watch it. This might have to he be. He was like really movie. excited but, to do uh, it again. Kurt, we have to take this sex scene. Yeah. This <laughs> like, is for families. It's like, oh, okay. I thought it was gonna get. I the thought it was a great idea. Put me in there. Yeah, yeah, do you have a Kurt Russell impression? That's a pretty it? decent Kurt Russell. Yeah, I'm gonna say there's a bit of mine. I mine was just any of I've been working on it. So I watched a lot of Guardians of the Galaxy too, really, for that one, and a lot of other Kurt Russell things. Like he's in um, Escape Russ. from New York. Well, yeah, yeah, Escape from L.A. Uh, Escape from Chicago. Did mm-hmm. he escape from Chicago? Not, 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 not escape from Melbourne. Yeah, see, that's not Escape from Chicago. It's, it's, that's a it's that's pretty a tragic. Man. He's an Overboard. Yeah, there you go. He's an Overboard. Goldie Hawn. Yeah, it makes I love sense. it. Love. They are. They have a kid. Hey, is that our next Halloween costume? Is that what you're saying? Kurt Overboard? Russell and Goldie Hawn. Or Kurt Russell and Star Lord. Yeah. You need my Star Lord any day, baby. Ooh. <laughs> you're Kurt Russell. You're my dad. <laughs> That's really sad. Well, I think, I think if that was happening, he would be dragged. Like, yeah. honestly. I mean, I'm like, not. No, he put I, my I'm, face on dress. I'm in on this one. Yeah. I'm going to be gray by next year anyway, so it's fine. Yeah. We're going to we're gonna have a catch together. <laughs> yeah, you can call me David Hasselhoff and Devin. <laughs> Guys, that's the Guardians Inferno right there. NCU, okay? That's all that matters. The Netflix, Netflix Christmas, Christmas universe. universe. I'm not going to watch any of those. Yeah, yes, we're watching all of them. Uh, yeah, I was yeah. going to say, I think we're going to watch them all. All of them. Guys, we love you. Oh, so much. yeah. No. You guys stay no. tuned oh. and watch our burn after watching. We're doing like special Christmas holiday all month long. And all prepare month your body, long. mind, soul, and genitals for an anus. <laughs> <laughs> and anus for our uh, our. 
I can't remember the name of the book. Manifest. Manifest. <laughs> That's not until January, but. Still, prepare. Prepare for Ding it. Thankful. Prepare yeah. your We love you. Bye bye. <laughs>